One of our most prominent and enduring superstitions is the belief in UFOs, unidentified flying objects or spacecraft from other planets. Now, even if you don't believe in little green men, beliefs in UFOs may still tell us something profound about how our minds work. Pay attention. I want you to listen to the following three pieces of information. On July 18, 1954, an object was seen in the sky above Wichita, Kansas, and a local resident snapped this photo of it. Second, on that same night, the U.S. Air Force reported an unknown object that had entered military airspace near Wichita. And also on July 18th, many residents near Wichita reported strange weather, lightning, strong winds, and power outages. All of which raises the question, what was the object above Wichita that night? Could it have been a UFO? Okay, no. There was no UFO over Wichita that night, and we weren't really expecting you to start believing in UFOs. That wasn't really the point. What we were trying to do is to trigger a process in your brain, a process that may lie at the heart of many superstitions. Let's take a look at our three pieces of information, the photo, the Air Force report, and the strange weather. The photo on its own doesn't seem so compelling. Even in the days before Photoshop, it wasn't too hard to fake something like that. And the Air Force report, well, unexplained blips on radar might not be that too infrequent. And the weather? Well, Wichita's in the middle of Tornado Alley, after all. But somehow, when you put all these facts together, they start to seem more compelling. Why? Here is the paradox of coincidences. On the one hand, it's perfectly reasonable to doubt in them, since, by definition, they're extremely unlikely. But on the other hand, they're bound to occur all the time to somebody somewhere. And in today's wired, globalized world, we're likely to hear about strange coincidences when they happen. So think about it. Could it be that our modern technology is actually making us more superstitious?